Okay, yesterday was a complete washout. So I didn't get much done outside. Um, and so I started making some bars uh, for the shed to cover the window. Uh, obviously the door's got this gate thing, which is going to go here, and the window's going to go round about here-ish, but uh, uh, obviously on the wall that doesn't exist at the moment. There's also some wind, which is why my okay, somewhat broken bit of fencing has got blown out and it's currently sitting there. So anyway, today's aim is to these holes that I've drilled are obviously not deep enough. In fact, at the moment you can see they're like full of water. They're not deep enough. So I've got to drill them deeper, but I thought what I'd do is I'd just drill it only slightly wider than the uh, the bolt that I'm going to drop into. The reason we're doing it larger was to try and uh, have more maneuverability, so if you don't quite line it up. So I thought of other methods and techniques to try and get around that problem uh, by drilling it just the right size. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is push them in uh, with the bolt stud up and try and lower it in or do something. I'll possibly even drill uh, these holes. In fact, I'll have to remove the uh, uh, penny washer, drill a slightly larger hole so you've got some wiggle ability. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, first thing I'll do is drill out some larger holes. I've got a new drill, so um, hopefully that should help. Alright, Hobwood. Okay, that's my first hole. Uh, full of water when I drilled it, so I've got a real sticky mess coming out of it where all the uh, dust sort of coagulated. Uh, so what I did was rinse it out with water, get a good rinse with water, got a leaf blower, blow it out, and uh, try and get as much water out of it as I could. So a bit in the bottom, it says um, apparently I can use this in wet environments, so it's not too bad. And the anchor drops in there. Uh, sort of water around it. Okay, I'll try and get a bit more out, but let's see what we can do. Uh, at least it's a uh, we're progressing. Right. Uh, in fact, I'll try and get some pipe or something to suck that out or whatever. Anyway, one down, nine more to go. Okay, bought this drill. Well, I'll admit it's not the top end of the range of possible options. Well, definitely towards the lower end. Um, it is rated for what I'm um, supposed to be able to do. Uh, it basically broke on the second hole. <laughs> this is great. Okay, I think it should last a bit longer than that. Okay, while I'm not denying it, it isn't the best, um, it should theoretically be able to do what I want. But it doesn't. So I'm going back to Tool Station. If you ever have one of these drills, don't buy it. Speak to you later. Okay, back again. Uh, got a different drill this time. This one's the slightly more upmarket, although towards the cheaper end of the market. Uh, this time, this one's got a yeah, key for this chuck rather than actually a chuck uh, keyless. In some ways, I actually prefer if you can get it more tighter. Uh, well, let's unbox it and uh, see what it's like. Let's see how bet it works. Okay, here we have the drill. Uh, oh, actually, it feels a lot better. Well, it feels a lot heavier, let's put it away. So, generally, working on the principle of the heavier it is, the better the quality. If you're adding lead weights just to make it, people think it's better quality. Uh, you also get rather a longer lead, which I'm kind of. I want a very short lead. For the cost of the lead, you think they'd, they would give a nice long one. And that one's certainly got longer than the previous. Comes with a couple of uh, uh, oh, um, you know, things for the boater, um, brushes, that's the term, which uh, the other ones that you didn't. So, oh, and then a standard handle thing, which is okay, almost identical to the other one. Uh, oh no, it's got, a, it's got a name on it, so it's not quite identical. And this thing, which really does look identical, <laughs> which will measure in depth. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we have ten lovely holes drilled. It's, uh, where is it? it's there, the next one. 
<sighs> and all the corner ones, that one, that one there, and that one there. Obviously full of uh, water at the moment in time. And you need to give them a clean out, wash them out with water, uh, blow, blow the water out with the uh, garden blower, or garden vacuum blower come thing. And the drill didn't actually pack up, oh, which is good. So this one's somewhat better than the other one. All right, after that, then it's a matter of positioning this frame back in place. And we ne then have to uh, fill it with this stuff. Got a couple of these tubes and uh, some spare nozzles just in case. I'll give you one and use this rather hefty looking gun thing compared to your normal sort of a uh, corking type gun. This one's quite a lot heavier and chunkier. And we will uh, hopefully get a bit further today. Okay, all the holes now line up. I've had to make the bolts a bit looser. Well, that one's not particularly loose. Uh, anyway, they'll wiggle a bit now. So I can get it in and it all drops into the holes. So the next stage is get this anchor, I inject it, I then got 10 minutes to drop the thing in. So it has to be quite quick. All right, shall be starting shortly. Okay, we've now filled up the holes with epoxy, dropped the uh, sockets into it, into the holes. Okay, I might still need some leveling discs, but once these things are set rock hard, we can undo the uh, undo the uh, bolts again and uh, hey presto we have uh, the anchors set in the right places well that's the idea so finally got that bit done all right so obviously a lot more work of but uh, at least it's one set one bit further forward okay onward for the moment but i think this is going to be the last video of the day because i really need these things to set and uh, it's going to be dark in the not too distant future, so I uh, don't think I'm really going to get a chance to start much new. <sighs> Alright, see you anon. Bye!